This is hunting for purple street lights in Kansas City, a video, I think 118 or something like that. So I am located right here at uh, Iowa and on, where's this street? South Longview, I think, street. Yep, and we're gonna take a left onto Iowa and then take a left onto Monroe. And we're gonna explore these cul-de-sacs right here. And then look at this area. And I've already looked at that area there. So we're almost done with this section. This is north of, this. Are, so there's 119th Street there. Um, and this is Lone Elm. South Lone Elm, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, there we go. There are some areas that I've already looked at that I kind of am tempted to go over again now that I can suck, now that I can now that I can see a map at the same time. Um, I can make sure I get every single dead end because that's why they would do this, guys. If you think about it, they're hiding those lights. The only way they freaking find them is to go down every freaking street. Especially with particular interest on um, no outlets. You might want to know. You might want to know why I'm doing this. The reason why I'm doing it is so that I can prove that they set these lights up for a nefarious purpose. I don't think they don't intend to depopulate, guys. I think they intend to depopulate. And they, they're not wanting to get in trouble for it. And they're going to want to have excuses for it. One of them, one way they could possibly do it is already have something set up to kill everybody. And they may have had an excuse for that because of the virus, the pandemic, which I already have some questions about. So there is a trail at the end of this one, by the way. They could drop chemicals on our freaking cities. They, but how do they know where to drop them? Do they have to program something to do it? Or do they have just a way to seek out certain places, even using visible light as one of the cues? Who knows what other kind of freaking cues they already have, guys? Too, that's another thing that you should be concerned about. You can take down all the purple lights, and that's, you know, that's a lot of people's mentality. That's just, we'll just take down the purple lights and then forget it. Well, no, that's not what you would want to do. You'd want to prove that they did that and prosecute their asses for freaking doing that prove that they intended to commit treason. That's what you need to fucking do to fix the problem. And find out who they work for and why they're doing it. Okay, I might have gone the wrong direction, actually. I took the left there. This... I gotta look at the map here in a second, actually. Let's look at the map. Oh, I did. I took the I took the wrong road. Okay. I went backwards, but that's not a big deal. I can go back and then take a left. All right, so we're we're going back up here. I thought that I came here basically on a road here and I thought this was just like another dead end. And I didn't quite remember. I wasn't looking at the map again. Um, but that's fine. We can just turn around back here onto Monroe and go back the other direction at Iowa here. People have to care about it, and they have to care about it now. I don't think Donald Trump was wrong when he said, um, I'm not even, I don't know if Donald Trump's a good guy or a bad guy for sure. I don't know. Okay, I just, I'll say this. When he said that if you don't fight like hell, um, which doesn't necessarily mean being violent, uh, you're going to lose your country. Well, part of that is doing research 
and undermining what they're doing with censorship and when they lie to us. So that other people can see that and they can actually raise awareness and then figure out how to figure out who's responsible for it and what what can be done to stop what they're doing. I don't know if Yellowstone's gonna blow up or not, guys, I don't know. I, I could just as easily wonder if they don't want people having a place to live where they actually have hot springs or something in the winter time over there, people being able to survive there. Um, if they're able to run away, I don't know. Guys, for all I know though, maybe they're right and it will blow up. It's just kind of, remember how infrequently that happens though? Like every, what, how many, 100,000 years? I don't know. But, if it is that way, maybe they gave us the COVID masks so we had some chance of survival, right? Um, so we didn't breathe in all the freaking uh, pumice or whatever, freaking Nash. And, um, well, maybe they got the purple tree lights set up so that they can stop you from leaving anyway, though. And only some people can leave. Who knows? I don't know, guys. I don't know for sure why they're there. But if they're not going to explain it to us, just like they're not supposed to take our guns away, they shouldn't have a weapon pointed at us, basically, at any time they want to use it, either. So. Especially when it's not actually an emergency right now. We're not even in a freaking pandemic emergency. And I, even wanna, I, I get kind of tired of saying it, but look up PubMed number 33589648 and look at the mutations in the virus if you can understand it. And then maybe watch Kellis Manolis' SARS CoV 2 genomics talk on YouTube. Um, look at some of the references that he cites there too in his talk and his PowerPoint and read some of those papers. They're even made, some of them are even from China, which by the way was supposed to be our enemy, but they still agree with us on stuff. They didn't try to use that as a political kind of thing. If they made the freaking virus, you think that maybe they would, I don't know. You think they're misleading us? I don't know if we agree with them or do you think that maybe we are just lying along with them about stuff or what? What do you guys think? Or maybe there's something I don't understand about it, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense to me when you compare SARS-CoV-1 and NSP-13, for example, and SARS-CoV-2 and where it mutated. It doesn't seem like it needed it. It seems like it was kind of dependent when it was replicated. And if that's the case and they're all lying about it, that means all the countries decided to lie about something like this, even though there could be world war. Are they all going to want to agree on it like that? Uh, what do we not know? Are they just all working together anyway? Think about it. If they're all going to agree on it, you can't just say that the pandemic is about having a war, right? And just people getting ready for a war. Unless we are really, some other stuff is really censored that we can't see somewhere else. Or... They just want a bunch of different excuses to basically get rid of us. And I think it's that last one. That's basically what I think it is. Okay, so. I. Oh, you know what? I think I just went down the same area twice or something. Or I just was talking. I wasn't, I wasn't really paying attention, guys. So I might have gone down the same stretch again or. Oh, no. I already just looked at that. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, this is Lone Elm. I want to check one more thing. I don't know if I checked the other dead end because I was talking and wasn't quite thinking about it. Let's just check and see if I got the one that's over on the left. Is this one? Oh, no, I did. Never mind. I did. I'm sure I did. Okay. So we got that done. Um, we didn't go into this complex here, so let's take a right. Take it right here. 
a little square on the map. Take a right. Oh. Oh. Alright. I read the map quite right. I wonder if I got all the dead ends in another area, but I'm just trying to remember. I have to look at the map to see. Uh, where we should go next, but I still want to look at this area right here real quick. Okay. So from here, I think we take a right. I should curb the right. to the left I didn't see any lights there okay so now I think we're pretty much at the edge of this here and we're only at the 11 minute mark or so oh this is 118th terrace though okay so I bet to the right we're basically right at 119th okay so we're right about we're right here on the map I'm gonna take a look at the map real quick here and see where we want to go next I guess another a logical place to go, I guess, would be next, just east of here, actually. Make sure this is the same area that I went to. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I did. I looked at this south of here already. Um, however, though... Oh, Harold is down there. Okay. All right. So we don't need to go south of here. I looked at that thoroughly in another video. I just can't remember the, the video. Actually, I can tell you though. Um, no, I can't because there are no lights there. Let's see. Um, we're going to go over to 119th house. So I'm going to take a right and I'm going to take a left. And then we're going to explore a neighborhood. Let's explore this neighborhood right here. So all one knows there are purple lights in there. So that's our next their destination. Oh. Oh. Okay. I could have been wrong about where we were, I guess, but we're pretty close to there. Okay, I think we gotta go one more turn here. Um, we gotta take a left, I guess. Rick. My bad. Now I think we're facing east, okay. <sighs> to the right, that's what we see. So apparently this doesn't matter over here. So, um, and to the left, I mean, I know we actually, I know we saw that. So, okay, we're gonna take it right here. Down 119th, then we're gonna take a left. We've been in that neighborhood south of here and checked. Um, also the neighborhood west of that one, we got, I drove through it. I don't know if I missed any dead ends or not, but I spent a lot of time driving around in it. I don't think I want to drive around that one again. 
necessarily. I'm gonna go through the video, I guess, and see if I missed any dead ends and maybe check them later, but it's actually more efficient to just keep looking at these other areas that I've looked at for right now. I get more done. Okay, so we got like a digger here. Let's connect with that thing, I guess. All right, taking a left here. We got these lights that usually show up pretty blue on camera. I don't know what they are. Um, but they're not LED lights, they're high intensity discharge lights, just so you know. I don't know if they're important or not. They definitely contrast with these gold lights. And they're in the lot to the right too, but then some of them are kind of oranger than the other ones too. They care about the tone of those lights even, okay? They care about lights. I don't think that's at all a counterpoint to the purple street lights though, guys. Like the purple street lights is just for zoning. I don't think so. Actually, let's take a left here. Oh, this is Iowa. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I gotta turn around. I didn't go far enough. And I have been on Iowa, so I know I've already looked at those places. Uh, I gotta take a left here and go in a circle. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm actually going north. I'm gonna do a U-turn here again. I'm just gonna turn around. So we gotta take a left here and then take a left. I just turned too early. Just a white light, by the way. Okay, so now we should be able to take a left here onto Pine Street, Mill Creek Grand, or Grand Day Road. Stop for a second here and just adjust this slightly real quick so that it's actually square with where I'm at here. Okay. So I'm gonna keep going on this. I'm gonna go all the way to the dead end. I don't even think there are any lights in here, but you never know. That's what this is what I thought it would be like where they have the purple lights too. 
like they'll almost maybe discount it and just be like oh, I don't know I don't, I don't want to go look there and spend a lot of time driving around but actually though looking at it showed me that they do have purple lights there guys west of the other stuff and over by the interstate also at two different locations on either side of that body of water making the water is also a barrier too guys um, but that's not what it's about to me it's about uh, it could be about the wind if it's blowing uh, from the northwest or from the southwest doesn't matter it'll still blow across that important point This is at 115th here. I don't even see a light down there. Let's see. How long is this road? Oh, that's a short road, guys. I don't think there's gonna be anything over there. Um, there's still a circle we can turn around in, so let's just go. So we have explored this, nothing here. Okay, I'm gonna take a right. This is that no outlet. I think this is where the trail is, if I'm not mistaken. Can a car physically get through here? Well, yes, it could go on the grass. There might not even be an obstruction to getting around onto that path. Okay. Uh, there could even be other ways to get over there. But for some reason, that does not matter. Keep that in mind. I have not actually even... I don't have, like, any... pretenses in saying that either. I just, I'll bet we'll find something. Or I already did. Just trying to remember. I can't quite think about where we are and where the lights are yet. Right now. Oh, that's Woodland over there. That's right. There aren't a lot of roads that go actually straight over from Woodland. If I remember, I, oh, let's see. Actually, let's just look because I'm actually really curious about it right now. Oh, they're not. There aren't, guys. Yeah. Check it out. It's not going to matter, guys. If they go or e going either direction, at least straight over, nope. And remember, north of here, there are the purple lights and construction. So, at least for right now, that, that looks like uh, that's already set up anyway. Okay, so I'm going to go straight. So, we just looked at this dead end here where that trail is. And we already looked at that dead end up there. So I'm going to keep going here. Um, and I'm going to look at that dead end. And I'm going to turn around somewhere there and go down. And uh, connect over. Probably do a U-turn. Or look over there. Connect over and go down. Okay. So here we go.
Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the end here, do a U-turn, and then come back to Chestnut and go down. Oh, we got a new outlet here, so we're gonna explore this new outlet first, I guess. Notice that there's a yellow light, and we have been on that road. It's not a purple light that we're looking at there either. So we're just a wider light. I don't know if it can be, maybe it could become one, but it's not a purple light right now. It says no outlet to the left. Um, so I think it's not going to be a very long no outlet, but let's just take a left. Okay, back at Chestnut. Take a left. There is a blue light shining up into there, right there. In someone's backyard. I don't know why. I don't know if they just think it looks cool or what. So, we're back at um, so a dead end. Okay, where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am right now. That sucks. Um, so we looked at a dead end, came back, I took a left. Okay, it says I'm on Chestnut, okay. So I'm on Chestnut, so I can take a, let me just take a left real quick, okay. I'm gonna take a left, this goes east. I'm just gonna go over to, uh, where is this? Uh, Woodland, oh, this is Woodland. Yeah, duh. yeah, it's Woodland. And I think we only partially explored this neighborhood, but I'm not doing this right now. Um, I am turning around. I'm going 
going back and then going down. So they go down to 119, so we've completed the circuit. Over there at least. Um, I suppose we can come back over here. Oh wow, that's interesting. I noticed on my mirror, I was wondering what the hell. Okay, so ahead of us, we actually do have what looks like, for me it's pink. Like really deep kind of pink color there. And it's flickering on the house. So whatever color red they're using in there or whatever color blue they're using in there is affecting how that sees it. It's either really seeing some blue that we don't see as well and I'm seeing it a lot on camera or it's ignoring some of the red on there. I'm not sure what Because mercury vapor lights make it so I'm really not sure because mercury vapor lights look green on camera, right? which means it's neglecting red, or it's seeing something that's blue. I guess I still don't know. I still don't know. I'd like an answer to it, and I don't have an answer to that right now. Okay, so now we're back at Pine here. So we're actually at the 30 minute mark. We can already see to the end of the block there. I'm actually gonna stop this real quick. Right here. 